Hey, this is Jesse Dula for BatchFrame.com, and welcome to this quick tip tutorial. Now, this is basically just another one of my quick tips, which you can see at BatchFrame.com slash quick tips, uh, but I thought it would be a little bit easier to show you than to write it out. But what we're going to be creating is this starburst effect, which you may have seen or tried to create before, and usually it's a bit of a hassle to do. But I've come up with a method that just uses a single layer and only a few effects. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is create a new composition, and mine's just going to be 1920 by 1080. You can use whatever size you'd like. And we want to create a new solid. And right now mine's just set to the comp size. Uh, we can change this later on, but you can set this whatever you'd like. And the first thing we're going to do to it is add the ramp effect. So effect, generate, ramp. And you can see that a ramp is going from top to bottom. We want to change it so it's going from left to right. So I'm just going to change these values. We'll make the first, uh, the start of the ramp, we'll make it both zero. And the end of the ramp, we'll make this first one 1920, and that's because that's the width of our layer, and we want it to go all the way across. And then this value, I'll set to zero. And that's just so our ramp is straight across. We don't want to have any angle to it. All right, so next, we'll add the colorama effect. So effect, color correction, colorama. And the only thing we're going to change in here is the output cycle. And what we want to do is change these colors to just be either black or white. So to do that, we're just going to double click, and we'll change the first one to black, second one to white, and we'll just go back and forth. You want to make sure you're not adding any new colors in between. You only want to use the ones that are already there. So now you can see we have this gradient that goes back and forth between black and white. Next thing we're going to do is duplicate this colorama effect. And you can see we've now multiplied the number of gradients. And in the output cycle, we're going to change one value, which is just we're going to uncheck this interpolate palette. And what that does is it gets rid of the soft gradient, and now we just have these black and white bars. So we're almost done. We're going to just go to Effect, Distort, and we're going to add the Polar Coordinates effect, which is below my screen right now. And right away you can see that this effect doesn't do anything. Uh, but we're going to change the type of conversion from polar to rectangular uh, to rectangular to polar. And then we're going to change the interpolation value up to 100%. And there you go, you can see that we've created the starburst effect. Uh, now we have a couple of problems. One is that it doesn't fill the screen, and the other is that if I go to the transparency grid, you can see that we still have these black bars. So what we want to do is make it so the black is transparent and the white is opaque. Or you can do it the other way around. Uh, I'll show you how to do it. We're going to go into the second colorama, and I'm going to make the black transparent. So I'm just going to click on this, these black triangles and just take their values, their transparency values, all the way down. Okay, so you can see these are all transparent, but we do have this color showing through. And the reason for that is because it's showing the previous colorama effect. Now to fix this, all you have to do is uncheck the composite over layer. And you can see now all we have is the white bars. So we can turn this back off. And now to change the size, all you have to do is change the layer size. So I'm going to go into the solid settings. And we'll just bump both of these values up to 2200. So it's a square layer now. And you can now see that it fills our composition. And you don't have to do that, obviously. You can use it as the circle as it was before. Uh, but this is just how I had it in the example. Uh, but that's it. Uh, you can see how simple that was. With just four effects and a single layer, we've created this starburst effect. So I hope you found this quick tip useful. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm Jesse Dula for BatchFrame.com, and I'll see you in the next one.